It's been known for quite some time that a bone marrow transplant can cure sickle cell anemia. The major problem is there's very few suitable donors for patients with sickle cell anemia because you need it to have a perfect match um, and not everyone has a perfect match and, and uh, even if you did have a perfect match sometimes the match had sickle cell. Uh, so, so very few patients with sickle cell disease were eligible for a bone marrow transplant. The newer procedure uh, allows us to do half-matched transplants. Uh, the, and this is a, a big advance because it greatly expands the donor pool. So, for example, um, maybe one, two percent of sickle cell patients would be eligible for a bone marrow transplant under the, you know, old way we did it with a perfectly matched uh, sibling. Uh, now, um, that number probably is approaching 50% are going to be eligible. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the first patient uh, we did uh, on this uh, protocol was, was uh, a couple years ago. And this is a patient who um, had really severe sickle cell disease. Uh, to give you an idea, she would spend probably on average 15 days of every month in the hospital. And of the 15 days that she wasn't in the hospital, more than half of those she was in the infusion clinic, uh, receiving pain meds or getting transfusions. Uh, horrible quality of life on uh, maximal doses of narcotics uh, just to control her pain. Uh, she had had several um, bouts of, of severe anemia, bleeding, and um, probably did not have much longer to live from, from her sickle cell disease. She is, um, went through the transplant, uh, had absolutely no graft versus host disease, uh, the, the transplant took, and uh, she's on no medications at all now, uh, doesn't take any pain medicines doesn't have any sickle cell disease and, and um, is just, I think she just finished uh, divinity school. She's, um, her church played a big role in, in getting her not only uh, financial support but, but emotional support to get through this whole process. It's the first adult half match um, transplant. There's been um, several hundred uh, bone marrow transplants done successfully for uh, around the world. Most of these are in children and virtually all of these are in um, people with a perfectly matched sibling. So this, this was a 31-year-old uh, woman uh, who uh, we used the mother uh, as the donor uh, and only had a half, half match. We have done one other uh, who um, went through the procedure okay, engrafted transiently, but lost his graft. Um, one of the things that we're doing with this protocol is it's built primarily around safety. Before, if you did a what we call a myeloablative bone marrow transplant, a bone marrow transplant where you completely wipe out the bone marrow and then give the transplant. You can imagine if you lose the graft there, you got real trouble because the patient's ultimately gonna die because they'll have no immune system. Um, so these are non-myeloablative transplants, uh, meaning we're giving enough immunosuppression, hopefully to get the graft to take, but not to completely wipe out the bone marrow. That builds in some safety here because even if the marrow doesn't take, the patient's not necessarily any worse off because they will recover, I mean, they'll still have sickle cell disease as he still does, but at least they won't die from the procedure.